Take some recon photos so I can assess the situation. Just be careful. If you get hurt, the nearest hospital is 106 miles from here. According to my map of the area, there should be a hidden passage into the temple behind that waterfall. Nice work, Bentley. I'll take a hidden passage over the front door any day.
Ringo, you found the spice growing facility. Now, from what I know of photosynthesis, all the expensive equipment should be found at the top of this room. That access tube should get you up there. All right, I'll head for the top.
as I expected, Rajan is out for his daily tour of the operation. My sources claim he always carries three blueprints on him, which, when read together, tell you everything about his spice operation. Too bad he doesn't have that section of the clockwork heart we saw during the recon. You could just pump him full of sleep darts and we could all go home. Unfortunately, my sleep darts aren't powerful enough to affect Rajan. What? How are you going to get at those blueprints? Rajan has an insatiable appetite for Indian watermelons, which, if eaten whole, will force even him to nod off for a while. Once he's asleep, I'll creep in and lift the blueprints. Well, that's fine and all, but how do you plan on luring him over to the watermelons? I've equipped my sleep darts with a sonic disruptor. The strange sounds they make should be enough to lead the ever-curious Rajan from place to place. in the grass. Blueprints! They have been stolen! That's the complete set of blueprints. Great field work, Bentley. You're really getting the hang of this.
The insect in that pool is a rare Indian water bug. If you can carry it into Rajan's office, its wings will transmit local sound waves at a frequency I can monitor. Let me get this straight. We're gonna bug Rajan's office with a bug? It is an elegant plan, I agree. Now pay attention. That water bug can only survive in stagnant pools. If kept out of water too long, it'll become unhappy and likely draw the attention of local guards. Hmm. Looks like there's a few pools along the way to Rajan's office. A short swim every now and then should keep our little friend quiet. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
John is able to monitor all of our communications out here with that elephant-driven satellite array. That's pretty grim. You got a plan for shutting it down? Don't I always? Now, the local spice plants are illegal for good reason. Eat too many, and you'll go into a fit of uncontrolled rage. Keep that stuff away from Murray. Oh, wait, wait, I get it. I put some spice plants in the elephant's feed bag. He chows down, gets all crazy, and then presto, the satellite's in pieces. A crude interpretation of the plan, but accurate. The trick here is harvesting the spice plants. You'll have to do some serious climbing, as they only grow high up in the jungle canopy. <laughs> Sayonara, satellite array.
Sean's holed up in his temple. Got any ideas to force him out of hiding? My research indicates that tigers have an aversion to water. By destroying that dam, the temple will be filled with a runoff. Flooding him out, huh? Good plan. But I don't think your bombs are strong enough to do the job. You're correct. Fortunately, while monitoring the bug in Rajan's office, I overheard that a new autopilot attack helicopter had just arrived. It's sitting inside this truck. Stay sharp. That dam is sure to be well protected. Rajan's blueprints, you're near the spice grinding facility. However, the passage is blocked by those laser fences. Hmm. Looks like they're using TNT to create these catacombs. Maybe I can borrow some to destroy the fences. You're the demolitions expert. How am I supposed to use that stuff? Oh, it's simple. Just jump in, walk the barrel to your target, jump out, and get clear of the blast radius. But be careful around floor lasers, Sly. The TNT barrels won't work on them. Attention, guards. Make sure all laser fences are operational to protect the spice grinder. I'm within visual range of the spice grinder. What's next? Rajan won't come out of hiding while spice is still being manufactured. If we destroy the grinder, he'll be out of business and have no reason to stick around the temple. Great. We do the world a favor and Rajan's forced out into the open. Start by getting a hold of that TNT down there. It's worth mentioning that guards won't be able to detect you if you stay still while in the TNT barrel. Nice. An explosive disguise. Place the explosive near that grinding wheel and it'll be blown to bits. <laughs>
to that basin filled with spices. What's going on down there? It looks like spice production has fallen behind. Wait, it's completely stopped. We meet again. Constable Neela, thanks for not ratting me out back at the ball. Oh, I should be thanking you. The look on Carmelita's face was priceless. She took it hard, huh? No one likes to have their affections played with. I know I certainly don't. Look, Neela, as soon as this India job is over, why don't you and I go out on the town? We'll dance through Bollywood and eat curry all night long. I'll keep it in mind. But first, the task at hand. I've learned of a secret entrance leading to half of the clockwork heart. Legally, I can't enter the premises without a warrant. But now a thief like you... A thief like me can go wherever he pleases. I read you. Don't fall behind while I lead you to the entrance. This place is thick with guards, and standing still can be lethal. I hear that, sister. Thank <laughs> you. 
this is it. And remember, if push comes to shove, I never showed you this door. And... And? And we're on for that date in Bollywood. There it is, just like Neela said. In order to lower the clockwork heart, you'll need access to that control box. But it's locked out tight. Oh, I'm sure these guards won't mind if I borrow their keys. to acquire that huge ruby of Rajad's for a local crime ring. In exchange for the goods, they'll set us up with a Cherry Bomb 500 for the heist. A Cherry Bomb 500? That's a lot of kick. Trust me, we'll need it. To get that ruby free from its moorings, you might have to whack it a few times with your cane. I'm on it. You're on. Sly's knocked the ruby loose, and now we need your muscle to get it to the buyers. Muscle on the way! You can pick 
pick up the ruby with your stomp move. Despite its size, that rock is really fragile. Bentley will run ahead and inflate cushions that are safe to throw the ruby onto. Use them, or this operation's a bust. Now, head out to our rendezvous near the waterfall. This ruby is near flawless. I recommend to my superiors that we purchase it. Take it to our buyer and complete the contract. The Cooper Gang certainly lives up to its reputation. This is a true Indian treasure. We will honor the bargain and provide a Cherry Bomb 500 at the time the turtle requested. Now, alert! Devil Pearl. 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 
assault. Put down this attack. Gadzooks! Rajan is raining down a bunch of Hunter Seeker bombs on Murray. He'll never be able to get that mouth open unless I destroy all of them. Temple ruined. I will no longer hide while you villains destroy my hard won empire. This place is mine. Here I am king. Come face me, Cooper. With Clockwork's black heart, I will show you true power. You are nothing. Come face the might of Rajan, Lord of these hills. Boy. When we try to tick someone off, we really do the job. Yes, you do seem to have quite a talent for it. Constable Neela, slumming it with the thieves again? That man is an illegal spice trader. He should be brought to justice. All I'm after is the clockwork part. You help me take him down, and the bust is all yours. Just try to keep up. This is it? This is the Cooper gang I've heard so much about and feared these long hours? The Murray will renew your fear! Who's the Murray? All I see is a fat, pathetic weakling! I might be big and not as smart as the other guys, but one thing I'm not is weak! <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Weekly. Sly's gonna want this half of the clockwork heart safe and sound. Happy day. What? Neela? Throw down a ladder! Sly's hurt real bad! Can you hear me? I said Sly's hurt! There they are, Contessa. Just as I promised. The Cooper Gang and Rajan all incapacitated. Excellent police work, Constable Neela. Carmelita's never been able to catch the Cooper Gang. Yet you capture them in just a few short weeks. Well, I never... Really, Carmelita. Accept your defeat gracefully. Actually, Contessa, there's a good reason Inspector Fox never caught the Cooper Gang. She's been in league with them the whole time. Liar! Prove it! This is a photo of Carmelita dancing with Sly Cooper on the night the clockwork wings were stolen. But I didn't know I was dancing with Cooper! You two certainly seem very familiar in this picture. Men, place Inspector Fox under arrest. I'll get you, Neela. Don't think I won't. Such a pity when an officer falls from the light. Yes, indeed. I can't.
can't believe it! That double-crossing cockney liar! <laughs> 